Hi everyone, welcome back to RaiKurkul.com. I am Deepak Rai. Today we are going to learn how to create Python program that reads data from Excel file and display it in a user-friendly graphical interface using Picanto library. So here I will explain you how to start importing required library, how to do the coding with proper strategy so that we will achieve the result whatever we are looking for. Before proceeding further, let me execute this code and show you the result. After that, we will build this complete application in front of you so that you will be able to understand each and every concept in detail. So here I'm just running this. So this will launch read Excel applications. And from there, here we have to browse the Excel file, which we wanted to load here. So in this, I'm just trying to upload any file, Excel file, which is available. Let me add this. Now you can see these are the incident listed here. And Whenever we click on this, this will showcase all those Excel data which is available in Excel file. So we will build this application in front of you so that you will learn how we can create it. And don't worry about it. I will explain you each and every concept in detail so that you can make it by your own. And if you want this code, let me know in comment sections. I will add on your get library and share with you the direct link. So here I want to read the file. I will specify the file name read Excel to and select the Python file hit enter. This will give us the options or provide the editor where we can write single line of code. Before proceeding further, I just wanted to make sure we should have the proper setup in place. First, you have to install Python and after that, you have to install Kinto library as well as field dialog and open pixel. So these three library requires to be installed. Simply open your command prompt, write PIP and install and finally to Kinto. This will take few seconds to install this after that you have to import all those three libraries. So here, whenever you will write any keywords, the PyCharm will give you options or provide you smart suggestions so that your code is right or wrong, you will immediately get to know. This library help us to import complete packages of Pregator and here we have provided the alias as tk. After that, we will write here from Pickinto import file dialog. You can see this is the options which we are getting. And after that, we have to import next as open pixel. So if you don't have uh, this library, you have to first install it, otherwise it will show an error. In PyCharm, it's very much easy to install it. Whenever you will get this type of pop-up, simply click on this and you will get options to install this library. Next options, I want to define a functions. So here, after importing, we will define a browse file functions that opens a file dialog to select an Excel file and calls the read Excel data. So here we will add define browse file functions. To write the functions, simply we have to write the function name in and the square bracket. And finally, we are adding colon. Hit enter exactly next to browse file. We will get an options to add file path. So here we'll specify file path equal to file dialog dot ask open file name so this will help us to open file name which we wanted to select so here you'll get options file dialog dot 
ask open file name here we have options open file name and within that we will add file types so here we'll add file file types equal to equal to we will add square bracket and within that we will add the round bracket as well which contains excel files in in double quote excel files and next after this we will add one semicolon and here we will again add double quotes within this double quotes we will specify the format whichever files we are selecting here we will add asterisk so that it will take care of all those excel file whichever we will select so excel is six and then file will be closed now this is perfect here we'll hit enter and within this we'll add if conditions and within if conditions we'll add file path so file path and then colon this will read the excel data to read the excel data we will provide here read excel data and here we'll add file path so file underscore path or we'll add it here so that this will be available in excel data format let me finish this probably after that we'll solve it so normally what it will to read excel data file path functions loads the selected excel file using open pixel we iterated through the rules of active sheets and store the data in list to do that we'll add here define functions in in define functions we will add here def and then this solutions will be resolved now here we'll add colon and after that we want to add wp equal to this is we wanted to open pixel dot load workbook so here open pixel dot load workbook functions we are calling here so within this function we want to specify the file path so here this will open file path and workbook which contain the sheet so to showcase the sheet again we want to write it down or we have to write it down all those sheets equal to wb.active this is done after that we have to define data and within this data we'll just add equal to array format now next actions i want to iterate all those and showcase the value so here this is perfect after that we'll add here sheet dot dot itr rows underscore rows and next options this typo itr rows and here we have to provide the values only equal to rows normally this should be written in as a part of for loop and here we'll hit enter to add the data append row so in in data append row we'll specify data dot append and row to add the file here to add the file value i mean and after that we want to display data so whichever data functions we have created it we have to display it here so here we'll add display 
underscore data and finally within that functions we want to showcase that data available now what does it mean display data functions clear the text widgets and ensure the excel data we format the data into tab separated format and display it in the text wizard next actions i want to specify it here def display and here we'll add def and next actions i want to showcase as display now here you can see this value contains colon and next options i wanted to add as a result so in the result field we have to add result text dot delete underscore text dot delete and within the round bracket i wanted to specify 1.0 comma tk dot n so this is done next actions we wanted for row in data so whenever we are adding for row in data we have to add insert text and this tk dot n joins the string cell for cell in a row and finally we create the main weekend of window which contains tk and set into the excel reader so weekend of window help us read root equal to tk dot tk and finally we are providing title this title will help us to browse or to give the context of what we are trying to import it or what we are trying to showcase it now if you can see here for row now in c dot itr rules value only we have provided true and finally we are again defining the functions which contain display data and this display data we are drawing as a string after that we have to add root and this root will display the tk and excel reader as a title so here whichever title is specified that will be populated at applications title and finally we are packing the wizards so here browse button tk dot button and root we have specified browse excel file and command browse file this will pack with pad y equal to 10 here we have not defined pad x and finally we are displaying this result into text root wrap tk dot none and ultimately we are adding pack pack as pad x and pad y and finally file tk dot both so this way we have created the other fields which will create a pack widgets the text wizard is packed within the padding and set to expand within the available space that's the reason padding will be required and finally we are adding root dot main loop this will help us to launch the responsive editor to add any readable file now we are done let me save this now once i will run here we have to just navigate it to this page and finally click on run here we have some error now all those warning and errors are resolved let's run this code and see the result so before running this code let me open one excel file that contains some data so here we don't have to excel actually see this here we have inserted which contains all those incident leased and their detail now we want to call it out exactly same incident detail within our quick enter applications so for running this simply click on this and click on this tab and select your code finally we are selecting any excel file and open launch and you will have all those file data available because we are using workbook contains no default style apply open pixel default value which is a warning which doesn't matter if we have all the data is available here we can see the number is opening here is open short descriptions and finally all those details are available within our 
application. So let's recap this. We have started with the addition of or importing of libraries in Python that's Open OpenFile Dialog and finally open pixel. If you have not installed first you have to install it and then you can proceed it further. Next options we have created browser file where we have to find file dialog to open the file name and this is the dynamic whichever file will select that will be open successfully within this window and next options we have iterate to open pixel read excel data and this data will load as a part of workbook with the file path provided and finally we are displaying this data into uh, as a part of cell to join string cell now at the end we have defined root main loop that is even loop to launch responsive applications so that's all congratulations you have learned how to create a simple excel data we were using twikinter library in python you can now browse Excel file, read and display their contents using the user-friendly graphical user interface. Thank you for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and share for more Python programming tutorials. Thank you for watching.